Before we get started in today's video, I want to add that I recently got affiliated with TubeBuddy. Right here down below is my affiliate link. Go check it out and also be linked down in the description. This is perfect if you're first starting out on YouTube. I use TubeBuddy a lot. It has research and planning tools for tags, quick links, bulk editing, and thumbnail generators, and a whole bunch more. This will help your YouTube videos out tremendously. It's surely helped me out. Remember, the link's right here and also down in my description. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, what's up? So, the past few weeks, my sleep paralysis has come back. And normally when my sleep paralysis comes, it's because I've lost control. I plan everything in my life, and if one plan goes wrong, another plan happens. And it seems that I've lost all of it. As of right now, I've gone through six video ideas that I wanted to do. And I've tried to film some of them today, and none of that worked out. It was either the script not fitting together with the information or the way I worded it right didn't work out the way it was and I couldn't find the right clips to make it fit together and as of right now it's about 2 o'clock in the morning when I am filming this because none of my other films came out right and I gotta go back and redo them. And this is how I landed on the video topic Night Terrors because I wanted to find more information on sleep paralysis to figure the whole thing out. Now I've done a video on sleep paralysis before, but I didn't like the way it turned out and I'm probably going to end up redoing that video. It's up in the cards if you want to check it out. It was one of my first videos I've ever done. And upon my research of sleep paralysis, I stumbled upon Night Terror. Now I thought to myself, this would be a good video. So we're doing the video. Now Night Terrors aren't your normal nightmares, sleep paralysis, dream type situations. They can be very, very dangerous. Night terrors are classified as a sleeping disorder. And this happens from the first to mid stages of sleep and cause pure terror and dread. They're similar to panic attacks, severe panic attacks, but in your dreams. When someone's having a night terror, they're still asleep. They may seem awake, but they're still asleep. And you should not wake them up at any cost unless you catch it before the night terror starts to happen. If so, then wake them up. Night terror is usually described as people bolting up straight up in the air from their bed, with eyes wide open, moving rapidly, some say even screaming. All their limbs, arms, legs, head, swing in frantically, like they're punching at something that's not even there. Now a person who's having a night terror won't remember it the next day. All they remember is the pure fear and terror they experienced that night. This is why some people record themselves sleeping at night, trying to figure out what happened, why they woke up in some certain places because it can cause sleepwalking. All right, hey guys, it is currently 11.47 uh, p.m. right now. Uh, I'm setting up the camera to see if Randy's sleepwalking because I think he is. I'm just gonna leave the uh, camera running to find out. Check out this clip right here where this guy literally had to restrain himself to the bed during one of his episodes while he was being tested for night terror. Kids also suffer from night terrors. Normally it's about the ages from 3 to 12. Now when they get to the age of their adolescent years, that's when they grow out of it. This would be the most terrifying thing as a parent to experience your child going through a night terror. Not be able to do anything about it. Just sitting there watching them go through it, trying to give them comfort while they're in sheer terror. I mean holding a child in your arms, trying to comfort them and calm them down, but it's not working because they're still asleep and they're not conscious of what's really going on around them. Just knowing that they're going through a terrible experience in their dreams. Kids will wake up, they'll sort of scream and shout, they'll look very scared, and most normal things you would do to calm them down won't work. Uh, they're not really interacting with you, they're not understanding what's going on, and it can be more frightening for the parent. Nine times out of ten, the child won't remember having the event, so you're more scared than they are. At that point, she will acknowledge that I'm there and start yelling at me something to the effect of, leave me alone, go away. She'll charge at me sometimes. She's swung at me. She has spit at me. She's doing this all while very cognizant of 
her surroundings and aware that you're there. It seems as though she's awake. Now, when an adult suffers from night terrors, it could be extremely dangerous. Remember when I showed you that clip earlier? This one right here, of the man restraining himself? Well, he does that to protect his spouse while he sleeps so he doesn't hurt her during one of his terrors. Some experience sleepwalking? This man right here is stabbing his bed with a knife that he believes he has in his hand during one of his night terrors. In this home video, a Japanese man makes the ritual moves of a samurai warrior, stabbing his imaginary opponent. All this time, the man is sound asleep. Just imagine what he's going through right now inside his head to be stabbing something. As an adult experiencing night terrors, they're normally between the ages of 20 to 30. Now, some rare cases, the ages go higher to about 60. Now night terrors can be caused by several things such as sleep apnea, stressful events, stressful things in your life, and even diets. Diets play a key role in your life that you don't even know it. But now there are treatments for night terrors, but for children, there's not really a treatment for them because they grow out of them. So they're normally told that to comfort your child and tell them that they'll grow out of it, don't worry about it. Now try and imagine telling that to your kid every night before they go to bed. Now, as an adult, psychotherapy and counseling helps with night terrors. And if that don't help, they have medication for it, such as diazepam and antidepressants. I wonder if CBD oils will help out. Let me know down in the comments if CBD oils can help out with night terrors. And probably even sleep paralysis, that will help me out truly if you know anything about that. Now, this is just the basis of night terrors. I plan on going into more depth and more research in a later on video and to see if anybody remembers what they experienced during a night terror so they can share that information with us. But that's all I got for you today for this creepy video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below along with the bell notifications to know when I post new videos. Also, click that like button to let me know if you like this video and I can do more about it. Till next video, peace guys.